All right, Governor. Where to, Governor? Electric Classic Cars HQ, please. But take the scenic route. So what time are you on till? Oh, till two o'clock in the morning, mate. Oh. So you've been busy out tonight? Just like this electric taxi, it's been rather quiet. Right, now I've actually stopped uh, to have a chat with somebody that knows a little bit more about this car than me, because this is a little bit weird for me. It's a car that I don't know much about because I didn't convert it to electric. You guys did. So, Harris, tell us a little bit about the company and what the concept is. Yes, yeah, so we're, um, we're based down in London and we are trying to give these sort of iconic old black cabs uh, a new lease of life by converting them to fully electric. Brilliant. And the company name is? We are Clipper Automotive. Clipper Automotive. Fantastic concept. A second life in old vehicles with electric drivetrain um, for the future. And what sort of drivetrain are you using in this at the moment? Um, so we're using a motor from the Nissan Leaf yep. um, and the inverter as well. Um, and that's a direct drive into the existing taxi diff. So that's excellent. I love that concept. You, a second life in an actual vehicle with you know, second-hand components from another electric vehicle and you're putting the two together, which is about as green a car as you can possibly get. Exactly, yeah. And we've got recycled batteries in there as well. Fantastic. So you've got a Nissan Leaf motor in there. What sort of... Uh, the techies out there are going to go, oh, what size battery is it? What's the range, etc. So what's the kilowatt hour um, size of the battery pack? Yes, yeah, so we've got a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack in here and that's giving us sort of real world 120-ish miles city cycling, which is obviously where these taxis spend uh, most of their time. We have 50 kilowatt fast charging as well, so we'll get you know, 80% of that range in just over half an hour. So the charger, I'm guessing, is in that grill there, is it? Yep, yep, so you can push that open, and oh, that comes open. Go. And we oh, have the, the Type 2 7 kilowatt charger yep. and the uh, Chatamo DC 50 kilowatt charger there. Brilliant. And you got CCS planned for the future as well? We do have CCS planned for the future, yes. Excellent. Yeah. Well done, mate. So, like, uh, battery pack in the front. Can we have a look in? Can, of course can, can. yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look in, if you can pop that open. Right, this is where I get techy and geeky. Because uh, I'm guessing this is the front battery pack? Yep, yep. So it's split exactly in half. So we've got 20 kilowatt hours in the front and 20 kilowatt hours in the rear. Brilliant. So a service disconnect on top. I can see the Nis Nissan Leaf motor buried down there. Yep. yep um, right what about things like chargers? Where, where's the charger? So the, the Tesla charger is mounted on the back of the battery box just in there. Right. Um, and then the DC, DC charger is mounted underneath as well. This is pure electric? Pure electric, yep. The whole diesel engine has come out and we've only put in batteries and a motor. Brilliant. So a proper electric London taxi. That's the one, yeah. Nice one, Harris. So you've got another battery pack in the, uh, in the boot. Now, you're talking about the boot where the luggage goes or do they put luggage in, in, in those boots or not? No, so drivers usually tend to keep their spare wheel there um, and sort of bits and pieces to help change that tyre. So luggage usually goes in with the passengers in the back and also a luggage space in the front here where a passenger seat would sometimes be. So as, as far as the actual rest of the taxi is concerned, it's completely stock, standard, usable London taxi? Yeah, the, the interior for the passengers is completely unchanged and for the driver it's, it's almost untouched. We've changed the gear shifter um, and there's a small LED display in there showing the range and all that sort of stuff. But apart from that, what the drivers have liked so far is it's just almost completely untouched. Can we have a look inside? Of course, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. So sitting in here, you can't tell at all it's electric. I mean, there's no raised like floor or a battery pack is. It's, it's literally stock, isn't it? Yep, identical as the, as the old TX4s, yep. We've got five seats in the back. Still got the wheelchair ramp here, so it's wheelchair accessible. And yeah, everything else completely unchanged. Brilliant. I mean, uh, you know, when I was driving here in it with Tim in the back, it just felt a joy to drive, uh, as, as you would expect with an electric car. But when you get in, you know, in a London taxi, you're expecting that whole like, you know, diesel, like, you know, tractor sort of like, you know, agricultural feel to it. Mm -hmm. And it was just really nice to just get in and go, oh, yeah, I'm familiar with this. Just off you go. Single pedal regen. And, you know, unfortunately, I could hear Tim in the back. <laughs> but, you know, it did have that speaker button so I could turn him off. Yeah, I mean, the drivers get into it and they, and they know what they're doing straight away. And that's what they like. They say the only difference is 
it's just quiet. So you've had drivers experience it so far, taxi drivers have yeah, started trialling these things? Yeah, we've had a lot of them sort of come come to our to our workshop and, and sort of by word of mouth and we said, yeah, go for a test drive. So they've they've taken it and had a little jolly round. So they're yeah, they're looking forward to when it's on the market. Oh, it's gonna take off. I mean, my my personal experience of this is like, you know, why would this not be a success? In fact, let's talk about that. As far as the concept is concerned, technically and you know, feasibly, this you know, it is a success. I mean, what about the? Because there's all sorts of things with taxis. You have to have, um, you know, um, licenses to use them in cities and things like that. So, um, how's that working? Is that the main hurdle at the moment? Uh, cities have to, sort of like, you know, okay this. Yes, exactly that. Yeah. So this last sort of few months, we've been touring up and down the country, speaking to councillors and, and licensing teams about getting these on the road. Uh, the biggest hurdle is. Taxis currently have age limits um, ah. due to emissions. Basically, they're trying to get the older, more polluting cabs off the road. So right, our argument so. is, if it's fully electric, should they be, you know, exempt from these age exe exemptions? And they're starting to agree. So we're starting to see people like Oxford who have got rid of all their age limits in Birmingham and stuff like that. So it's, um, Brilliant. it's a slow well, process. But well done, Oxford and Birmingham. Yeah. And I, I hate it when bureaucracy gets in the way of like you know technical advancements like this because technically. This is possible, and it's a fantastic concept. But I just hope the bureaucracy of like you know changing things doesn't get in the way of that. But it sounds like some of the councils are you know op okay with it. Yep, slowly but surely, and obviously London will be the the biggest nut to crack. So that will be a lot of our sort of focus going into next year. So Harris, I, I saw the 100% electric sticker on there, and that's quite apt because this is the only London cab that is pure electric because the other one that's down in London is a uh, petrol powered hybrid at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, so when we come to market next year, this will be the only 100% electric London style hackney carriage. That's awesome. So for low emission zones and like uh, clean air zones and stuff, this is the only pure electric, zero emission tailpipe London cab out there. So any uh, cities out there, Contact Clipper Automotive, that's the company for you. Um, but question for you guys out there, if you live in a city around the world, wouldn't you like to see an all-electric London cab in that city? I think it's a great concept. And as far as second lifing cars as concerned, because these essentially, once they are over 12 years old, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Once they're over 12 years old, they come to the end of their life. So do you think it's a good idea to second life a car like this with you know, second lifing electric components as well and put them together to make a you know, future-proofed uh, taxi. I think it's a great idea, but comments below, what do you guys think? So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.